to God be the glory for the things that he has done. And we certainly give honor to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords tonight. And those who are streaming tonight, you're streaming uh, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, join us as we praise the God of the Bible for his goodness, his kindness, and his tender mercy. And thank you for being a part of this iron factory men forged by God's truth and also in joining in the celebration of uh, Jesus Pride Month. But I've, I stand tonight to give another acknowledgement today and uh, I, would, I am going to take my seat but I want to just read a story but to bid every one of you who are here tonight and those who are streaming, I want to bid you Happy Juneteenth Day. How about that? All over the sanctuary, all of the saints, happy Juneteenth Day. Juneteenth is a 155-year-old holiday celebrating the emancipation of African Americans from slavery in the U.S. It's celebrated, it's celebrated on June the 19th. The name is a combination of the words June and 19th because on that date in 1865, Major General Gordon Granger of the U.S. of the Union Army landed in Galveston, Texas and informed the slaves that the Civil War had ended and slavery had been abolished. Granger and roughly 2,000 Union soldiers were there to enforce President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, which had actually gone into effect more than two years earlier on January the 1st, 1863. In fact, Lincoln himself had been assassinated a few months earlier in April of 1865. However, the more than 200 25,000, 250,000 slaves in Texas were still sh shocked to hear the good news that they had been freed. According to the National Museum of African American History and Culture, this was alarming, shocking news to them. On June 19th in Galveston, Granger publicly read General Order Number 3, which stated, quote, the people, the people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free, end of quote. Today, there remain varying accounts of why it took so long for the news of, of slavery's abolition to reach Texas, with one story claiming that the messenger bearing the news was murdered on his way there. However, many historians note that Texas remained a Confederate state until 1865, when Robert E. Lee finally surrendered to the Union Army. And the state would therefore not have enforced Lincoln's proclamation until the Union Army took control. Historians also report that many slave owners in Texas intentionally withheld information about the Emancipation Proclamation from slaves before 1865 in order to keep their labor force intact. Regardless, Granger's arrival and the news, Granger's, excuse me, arrival and the news that slavery had been abolished by the federal government kicked off widespread celebrations across the state. And here we are today celebrating this powerful day where the good news finally reached Galveston, Texas. That way all of the slaves in the United States of America got word that, they, that we had been set free. I think a big shout and the great praise of hallelujah goes in there 
to thank God for setting us free. Thank God for General Granger's word as it arrived in Texas. I want us, before I take my seat, to pray for Republican Senator, uh, Senator John, John Cornyn. Cornyn is, is working to make June 19th, Juneteenth, a federal holiday. I pray that this man succeeds in this effort. It will only serve to heal and to bless our nation. Again, to everybody, white, black, Asian, Hispanic, praise the Lord, Indian. If you are an American, everybody should celebrate Juneteenth. God bless you. <laughs>